Sausage Maker. Sea Jackals, we've been playing Sea Jackals. This kind of plays. So we're gonna go Swindle, hope to hit five or six, and then Eavesdrop pulls Boat. Okay. Uh, I guess we can just do it with Sausage Maker then. Carry over wiener. I don't even know how I want to click this. <laughs> I agree with Bushwick, the King of Beggars is bad. No. He might not be correct because the bounty package is so good. You just don't want to play like 14 fours in your deck. But I didn't even know that Bushwick had that opinion. As many of them. Yeah, I'm sure he does. I have a lot of opinions too. He doesn't pass. We are playing drill. I don't know if we played anything good. Ooh, opponent passes. All right. Strongest syndicate leader right now. Uh, it's kind of between Guther and Horson and Hummelfart. Wow, those draws were really good. No idea if we can do this against AQ, but we're going to try. Cleaver's underrated. Eh, don't think I agree with that. I guess it depends how bad you think Cleaver is. He's pretty bad, though. Guthrun. Guthrun's fine. It's up there. I'm just taking it, whatever. I've got Renew. It's like Horson already. Uh... With a lot less utility. Horson being able to just kill things when you need to kill things and still do something else that turn is what makes Horson good. Just fill up with that. It's a crazy. Just fill up with that. That's worth a lot of points, right? Then he plays a real one. Like it can't be right. There's no way it's right. The real one's worth more. Yeah, if I get the option to take it, I'll take the real one. Oh, okay. That was pretty easy. We can't get to even coins, right? Nothing spends odd except the more else, which we're probably holding on to for a while. Let me just take the Siggy now. 
Let's waste the one coin. Minga and old execution in one turn with Cleaver. Sure, but you're using your leader to do that. You're mulliganing your royal decree to do that. Hmm. Yen's gonna be really good. Kinda worried about the Yen. I don't know why he did that. There's the end. What am I renewing? Sausage maker for eight. Are we still losing this game? Last card's the end. I think you want to renew it. Yeah, that's true. <sighs> Running sausage maker. Chat told me to. We're fine. <laughs> yeah, why did the egg bug? It wasn't rolling. So we got red coin. Red coin, eavesdrop, sausage maker. I like it. Mulligan this deck is so weird. I want all my cards. Except this one. This one I never want. High rolls when it doesn't matter. I'm pretty sure we're just playing each drop and not sausage maker. Just bottom renegade mage. We had our boat. Okay. We can pass to that, I guess. We have enough coins to Sausage Maker pay for it. It's not really the suspicious of a pass either. Okay, we don't need this. We can eavesdrop this to the bottom.
Come on, let me play my card. Awesome. So we're missing our renew, but that's fine. So we pickpocket up to nine coins, get our boat. Really expensive, good boy. Yeah, pricier than most. Can do this first. I'm pretty sure we win this very cleanly. He might just concede to the drill. Yep, we can give it resilience again. Can't do much about that. We'll just take the drill. We so I still got more else for tall removal. So I don't just want to stack all the coins on the sea jackal, but I don't need to spend them yet. Not get Philippa on this. If I play Ewald, I just have more else for interaction and Philippa. Sure. Since he didn't bleed this, he probably plans on more else it. Hey, Elena, what's up? That's so much value. <laughs> Except we're going to get boat back, so it's not actually that much value. Cut a card type. Was Igor my only... Really? Any blind eyes? What's Igor? This is a blind eye. Missing cut up, okay. So he has no spender in play anyway. I don't know. He needs a lot here. Orson. So we can eavesdrop this away. We're on blue, though. I guess mage can kill executioner. Okay, just don't low roll. Good. Now don't fill up with me because I don't have the counter fill up. <laughs>
Okay. Can pass to that. Don't really want to play anything else. They actually butchered Eugene. Oh boy, what did they do to him? Who cares? I care. <laughs> Banned for IDK, how long? Pretty sure I want to respect Circle. Such a silly card to have to respect. I guess Worst is kind of just worse than Blacksmith. We're going to decree for our Elwald. Yeah, sure. Got justice, we're decreeing for Eld. This is a Gwent hand. Sure. Come on. Now unfortunately the unfortunate part about this card is that you have to use Louisa. To pay the tribute when you play a tribute card. So even though I don't have to pay for Renegade Mage, if I go Louisa and then play Renegade Mage, it'll use up the free tribute on the Renegade Mage. So I can't save it for the more else. Cancer deck? I don't even know if I'd agree that Bounty's a cancer deck. If he had circle, he would have played it every eavesdrop, right? No one holds circle. Syndicate perks. Is that pay tribute X times? Yeah. So we're always decreeing for Eld, so we're never decreeing for Fence. Just let him keep the Executioner. So what, he's got Ewald in hand? He hasn't played Horst yet, right? Okay, okay. There's the Caleb. Snap up playing the Cancer deck with Bounty. Oh boy.
Okay. So we can kill both of these. He plays Ewald, kills our Ewald. We more else the Ewald and have Blacksmith. Just hope he's out of spenders. Yay, lots of clicking. We should be done, this is free, so we don't need to save any coins. <sighs> Sorry, is this card just Philippa? Maybe beat it regardless, right? Might as well just do this. Matchup's so weird. I don't know. Look, we took a pass with Madame. And the other game, we just didn't need our morals. Oh, Red Dream. Hey, dude. I think we're actually bad against Blob. Especially on the bounty package. Yeah, I don't think we're winning this. I don't think we should have won the last game we played. Pretty sure we should have just gotten bled to Oblivion. Adding more factions, he's probably digging himself into a hole. More factions, more cards as print on a non faction expansion or fewer per faction. Yeah, I don't really know how I feel about it. It's weird. On one hand, it's one way of sort of avoiding power creep because you're not giving the existing factions new toys, instead, you're developing parallel strategies. So, if they plan on making like a lot of new factions and having that be the direction they go, I think that's kind of interesting. I don't know of any other card game that's done something like that. Not going to make any more factions in your opinion? I mean, I don't know. Maybe. I don't think he plays Circle and Blob, no. Something's really clunky. A little bit. Clunky's not always bad, though. I mean, 7p isn't that expensive. Again, Skellige, you can remove bleeds. So what? If we... Pass here. Could like use a King of Vegas charge, fill up with this. See where we end up. This feels real bad on blue though. Foul lay instead of Louisa. Uh, I just play a totally different card. Why Foul Lail? What does that do for me? What feels bad on blue means in this context? Uh, we're committing way too much into a round where we can't get card advantage. The best case for for us is that our opponent just passes and we go into round three uneven. Granted, we get a long round, which is nice, but... It's not everything. 15, how is he going to do that? Uh, bleed. Nut. Harold click. Pretty sure you can do it. We'll just keep over committing. Yeah, it's this round, it's not carry over.
Yeah, I think we played too much another one. I'm not picking one anymore. Our opponent just played Olaf. Harold. Take those. Yeah. Hey, me grout. Thanks for the tier one sub, man. Welcome, welcome. I think we want to kill this and just waste the coins. Feels kind of bad. Ugh. Feels real bad. Steal with what? My fill up is gone. Makes our fences worse too. We're like really hoping that he lets us bore us, bore us this. Okay, he doesn't. Probably don't want double fence anymore. Ugh. Guess we can go up to nine and play fence. Go up to nine again, play fence. Do you want the Sea Jackal? Because that's worse. So no one will know what blue coin means. I mean, people say it enough that I think it's not a term that's going to go away. It's pro without really knowing what blue versus red means or that impacts card advantage or anything like that. Yeah, when I first started playing, that was like the big, one of the first big things that you learned as a player. Are we mega dead? Maybe. Maybe. Yes, we're we're pretty dead. I should have killed the Harold. There was no good way to get the defenses down though if I do that. For a lot of tournaments, blue red so makes a huge difference. Yeah. You play very differently on each coin. I think I'm a lot less scared of Gurney. He plays mostly North Korea. You can say blue coin is still not a great feeling. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. North Korea's got it especially tough because the bronzes are so weak. If you just try to play bronzes, you're just going to lose your card. I'll just have a really good reason to get without Graydon. Yeah, I'm not sure how I'm supposed to approach that matchup. It feels kind of bad.
Go on red, you play bronzes and lose a card? That shouldn't happen. <laughs> Don't commit so hard. Just know when you gotta pass. You should never be losing your card on red. I shouldn't say never, but... Without taking a calculated risk. Supposed to put great in my deck. I mean, I'm probably supposed to put bounty cards in my deck in general, but. <laughs> you weren't winning that round. Uh... Well, it's either I commit really hard or I pass. I didn't really have options. Training for inevitably being the syndicate. Uh, I'm trying to find syndicate's non bounty faction identity. How are we getting out of this round? Ugh. Like decree for more else. Hope we draw Siggy. Okay, I could just swindle for cowards. Well, I can only play two swindles. So this lets him play Azrael this round, this doesn't. If he wants to play Azrael, that's fine. Nah, Swindle's pretty good. We just played against Red Dream. That was last game. We picked up a rare loss to him, too. Run Luisa, don't run Tin Boy. Yeah, I mean, Tin Boy's not actually good. Why play bad cards? You can just play it with good cards. Works well with Fence, works well with Morals. Ideally, you're playing the Bounty Package, too, and it works well with uh, the Bounty Dude, too. Okay. Oh no. Oh no. Our points. Where are they? Not using Tin Boy. I don't think he's very good. This is scary. Guess the more profit makes Jackal better. Okay. We need to use one of these. Hmm. 
There's Siggy. Okay, okay. We're in there. We're in there. Justice. Okay. Okay. This is a hand. It plays into Geralt, which... I mean, I'm not huge on, but it's fine. Decline tribute. I guess we could. Uh, I'll see where we are after this card. Necker Warrior. That's what, it'll go to six? I just lost damage crone. I don't know if I want to. Nah. There's no reason to give him a good damage crone, right? This doesn't actually cost us points, it just gives him a Geralt if he has Geralt. Because we're losing value on the Ewald if we don't pay. Yeah, Geralt's pretty common in Gurney. But he could not draw it and not want to keep it in a short round. All sorts of things. I think we've got it. Uthrum. Get rid of boat, get rid of drill. This drill's a six. What am I doing with my coin situation? Swindle eavesdrop gets us to full coins. I guess we just kick the drill. Unless it doesn't get us to full coins. Because we lower all the swindle. Eh. Okay. In that case, either drill or blacksmith will get us up. We drilled any circles today? Yeah, we drilled a bunch of Frighteners too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. That's. That happens, whatever, whatever. What a card. Spira, what are your thoughts on Swindle? Worse than you play double Swindle and it doesn't get you to nine. Yeah. Nah, we're not playing Tin Boy. It's like we're doing round one. Uh, it can be, but I'd rather do it after he passes. Get my fence down first for sure. It's a consideration this turn. I think we've only half coins at base power. Uh, you're kind of just making bounty bad at that point. It's a pretty huge nerf. Coins in turn. That's the fix that I like if you're gonna change something. Just make it a little bit more clunky.
Anytime you can balance things without changing the numbers is kind of interesting. For the only bounty footing card? No. The mechanic is cool. Stuff like that should give more value than its provision cost. But it needs to be a little bit more clunky. It's a little too easy to cash out on the bounties. Just boost your bounty cards. Yeah, and lose all the tar removal. <laughs> Plus four. It ends up working out because we're still going to play Eve's job next, but. Highest GB card to run. Uh, more else and fence. Fence gets more value than you'd expect because it double dips. And I think I'll put a decree for our 11 provision card. Feels really bad. Let's run Tin Boy to be able to lose it. No, I don't think so. We're not really playing it for Tin Boy. We're playing it because it just plays for good value with Louisa. Just works with more else. Just works with fence. You're basically playing as a 10 for 9 with the Intimidate tag whenever I play a fence. Boy for the tribute anyway, playing for the last rate. Yeah, there are, it, there's a good amount of the time where the tribute isn't worth that much. So what are we doing here? Just like kill the executioner. I just decree to kill the executioner. Not like decree is doing anything else. It's not breaking my tribute. Yeah, sure. Could have done this a couple turns ago. I didn't see it. It's not spending. Hey Gandalf, what's up? Pretty sure we got him. No Rolock, no Rolock. Nothing to spend the coins on. Man, Elwald's really good. I 
share the ethical syndicate list. Uh, sure, yeah. <laughs> this is the worst. At least we're on red. I'm just gonna play drill next, right? Gets me to the nine coins, pulls the boat, and then we'll probably just pass. Hey, Zeddy, how's it going? So this Yamar only deals four. Uh, I mean, this hand's really good. Sure. Kill it with Ewald. So we are still playing. He's <laughs> himself. Uh, kinda. Okay. So he has Olaf in his grave and Blue Boy. So you play Imki, Hjalmar's it immediately. Use the turn that he's not playing one of his engines. And then we can pickpocket next. I play the Louisa first, I get one extra point, but then I can't play the fence if I want to tribute the more else. Uh, huh. I mean, it's just what, I lose a point on the more else to gain a point on the Louisa. Except then I wouldn't have anything that's... Now I have this to spend, not profiting. Yeah, okay, we'll just do this. I didn't with shield. Uh, uh, maybe that was worth it. I didn't consider it. I should have. I'm used to the shield just being bad. But in this exact situation, it might have been fine with the Helmar. He had already played the blue boy, too. Got him? I don't know. Depends how good his cards are. 
That was a pretty good one. And this is a pretty bad one. We are up 11 on even. We have Ewald in here, right? Yeah. Uh, either Horst. Yeah, Horst. Just Horst. So his last card is Vildkarl. Uh... We got him. We got him by a lot. I could have done this better to get more points, but it doesn't matter. Every click with the uh, the Sea Jackal could have been for three. Hey YouTube, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to uh, leave a like and subscribe. Over here and here, there's some other videos that you might enjoy watching. What are you What are you waiting for? Just there's two videos. Just click one. Just click one.